Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video. Today we're going to be looking at Minecraft Java Edition and I'm going to show you how to install mods in Minecraft Java Edition. Okay, so as you can see on my system right now I've got two mods installed. One of them is the minimap on the top left counter over there. But if I enlarge that you can have a look. If I press tab, it shows me all the different things on the minimap as well, which is really cool. If you have a look at my HUD at the bottom there, as you can see I've got a another HUD plus modification going on there and it's really cool it tells me the uh, percentage of the item durability so if we went ahead and chopped down this tree for example you can see it's showing me the exact value how much it's going down it tells you other stuff as well so basically I'm going to show you how to install different types of mods which you can download from websites as well and it's quite easy. First of all you do need to make sure that you've got the full version of Minecraft Java Edition and that you own the game. This will not work in any trial or beta version. Secondly you need to make sure that you've got the full version of Java installed on your system which is going to make it easier to install Forge if you haven't got it already. And you might be wondering what the hell is Forge. Well basically Forge will allow you to install all the modifications into your Minecraft system. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is go to java.com in your internet browser, click on Java download, scroll down, click on agree and start free download, and then it will download the Java installation file. You click on it, it will give you two options. One, either to update and uninstall the previous version of Java, or two, it will tell you that you're already running the latest version of Java, so you don't need to worry about that. Okay, so the second thing you're going to require is Forge. So if you just type in Minecraft, Forge in your search bar. It's normally the first link, but if you want to go to the main website for it, it's files.minecraftforge.net. If you click on that, click on the installer for it and download it to your system. You might see this screen here, so you might have to wait five seconds and then click on the skip button on the top right here, and then it will download it for you. All right, once you've downloaded the Forge installation file, what you need to do is right click on it click on open with and then select Java platform SE binary. What this will do is open up the Forge installer for you and make it really easy to install. And as you can see, it already has the default installation folder for Minecraft on there. So all you need to do is click on OK and it should install it for you. I've already installed it on mine, so I'm not going to click OK. But once it's done, it will download a few files in the background as well. It will give you a message that Forge has been installed. So just close that down after it's been installed. Next thing you want to do is open up the Minecraft launcher. And in the bottom left here, in the Minecraft Java Edition section, you'll see it might say latest release. So if you click on this drop down here and select Forge, you'll know that it's, it's been installed. If you click on installations over here, you'll see that Forge is also showing on this bit here. If you haven't ever used Forge before, what you need to do is click on the play section, make sure Forge is selected at the bottom left here and click on play. You can also do it from here. If you hover over Forge and click on play over here, you can also launch it from there. So let's launch Forge. And you'll see this screen come up and it's got some writing on it and it will show you all the different mods that you've got installed and it will register it into the Minecraft system for you. All right, so once you've launched Forge in the Minecraft Java Edition launcher, you'll see there will be this screen in front of you, the main menu, and you'll know that Forge is working for you because it will say mods over here. So if you click on this section, it will show you all the different mods that you've got here. On your one, it might only show Minecraft and Forge. And what you need to do is click on the bottom left link here, which says open mods folder. All right, so once you're in the mods folder, you'll see that this folder is empty. So what we need to do next is download some mods, and put them in here, and then you can launch the game again and enjoy the mods. All right, so there's quite a few different websites that do offer Minecraft mods, and I'll show you the one that where I got my modifications from. So if you just type in Minecraft mods and just search for that, one of them is CurseForge, so let's open up that one. And the one where I got mine from was minecraftmods.com. So obviously you can just scroll through all of these and have a look which one suits you the best. 
the one that I was using in this example was Zero's minimap. So let's go ahead and download this first of all. Scroll down. Let's find the download link and click on that. It will take you to the main website. So just click on the uh, mirror link here. All right, the next one, if you just click on the search button here, type in HUD, and it will come up with this one, which is called Inventory HUD Plus. Obviously, there are other ones here. As you can see, you can customize your HUD as well with these other mods, but I'm going to go with this one because it's the one I was showing in the example. And then let's just download this as well. All right, so once you've downloaded the mods, the next thing you need to do is you need to open up the Minecraft launcher, hover over to where it says installations, hover over where it says forge, and then just click on this little folder icon here. You can go through this to the game as well. If you go into the game, click on mods, and then click on the open mods folder at the bottom left, it will do the same thing. So just click on mods in this folder here, and I have already copied them from my download folder, so I'm just gonna paste them in here. So there we go, so as you can see, these two jar files are now in the Minecraft mods folder. Okay, now we can go back into the Minecraft launcher, click on play, click on play, making sure Forge has been selected, and this should inject the mods into the game. Let's wait for this to load. All right, cool. So we are in the uh, the game now. If we click on mods, as you can see, I've got Minecraft and Forge showing, and then I've got the two mods here, Inventory HUD Plus and Zero's Minimap. If you notice at the bottom here, it does say new Forge version available. So the version I'm using right now, obviously, is not the latest version. So that's really cool as well. It does tell you if there's a latest version as well for Forge. Okay, now if we click on single player, go into our world, just wait for that to load. There we go. So we've got our mini-map at the top there, as you can see. And I've got the, the HUD as well. Obviously, you can customize this mini-map as well. I can change the shape to a square. If you prefer a square mini-map compared to a circular one. Hopefully, you guys have found this video useful. If you have, please give us a like. If you do have any queries or comments, please do leave a comment below and please do subscribe to this channel to help support it and help it grow. I hope you guys have a really nice day. See you guys next time.